The world sucks. The future's bleak, and we know who's to blame. The rich and the powerful. At least according to Adrian Tchaikovsky, one of the greatest science fiction authors alive today. Today, we're talking about his Terrible Worlds collection. Three novellas, three bleak futures, they're all very thought-provoking. Each of these works takes a worrying aspect of today's society and brings it to an extreme endpoint. Firewalkers takes place in a possible future where Earth has been turned into a desert wasteland because of a climate disaster. Ironclads paints a bleak picture of a world where war has been privatized by corporations and the wealthy. Ogres is a biting critique of class struggle and takes place in a future where mankind is ruled by ogres, monstrous giants who act as their feudalistic overlords. All of these dystopian futures are very different, but there is one common thread through all of them. The future is oppressive. These are all futures where those in power treat those of the lower class as commodities, as people to be used, as expendable. Science fiction used to be a genre of wonder and possibilities. Humans can accomplish great things if we put our minds to it. The future is filled with possibilities. And science fiction allows you to look off into the future, over the horizon, and see a better tomorrow. That's why sci-fi is compelling. Because it's all about advancement. It's all about becoming greater than what we are now. But advancement is a double-edged sword. The same tool that can be used to cut away cancer could also be used to lobotomize you. These three novellas are lacking in hope, but there is still hope, and Adrian Tchaikovsky makes sure that the reader is very much aware that the great future that we have in our mind's eye is a conditional future, and it's dependent on what we do here and now. So clearly, these three works sound political, and they are political. The politicization of science fiction is nothing new. It's been a genre rife with political arguments since its inception. Adrian Tchaikovsky makes you think. These are very thought-provoking works. And sometimes his political commentary is a little heavy-handed, but the stories are good, and the point of these novellas is to make you think and to make you hopeful and to make you anxious about things that, can, that can't happen in the future. And in that respect, it's a success. Before you pick up any of these novellas, let me read you three of the quotes that'll kind of give you a general feel for Adrian Tchaikovsky's political leanings. That way, you're not one of those individuals who reads these novellas and then gives the author a one-star review because you don't agree with him politically, because that's, that's just trash. My garden will survive because I understand that the unit of life is not the organism, but the environment. These guys were rich because it was God's plan. Just like if any of us got rich, that would be God's plan too. Just like any one of us might get rich, somehow we could be president too. Everyone said so. We just had to work hard and wait our turn. They say that unless you force people into a position where they must work or starve, no work would get done. Have they proved this theory? That's what you do with a theory, isn't it? You know, I don't think they ever tried. Funny that. I'm sure you're able to deduce that on the political compass, these three stories are very much left-leaning. If that bothers you, don't pick up this trio of stories. I think it'll just make you angry. If you're one of those people who are in the middle or you're left-leaning yourself, I think you'll enjoy this trio of stories. I did. It's very thought-provoking. I disagreed with the author about several key points, but the narratives are solid. The plot is solid. I like the characters and I like the events, the dialogue. Ogres was my favorite. Then Ironclads, very close second. Firewalkers was just okay for me. But all of them, they got my noodle working. Over the next few days, I'm going to be uploading some YouTube shorts about each installment in this collection. I think I have a long-form video of Ogre still up on the channel, so check that out if you're interested. It's very old and very bad, not up to the same standard of my videos now, and maybe I'll delete it before you even get to it, but there's a possibility that that is up right now. If you're not ready to tackle any of Agent Tchaikovsky's giant works like Children of Time, then I think this trio of stories will definitely give you a taste of what he's able to do. And I think what he does, he does very well. Thank you guys for watching this video. If you liked it, thumbs up, subscribe, all that jazz. And I'll see you guys next time.